Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is August 30th, 2024, Friday morning, and this video will come out uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday. It is Whip Weekend number 223. I hope everybody's had a good week this week. I was planning on having a quiet week, but that didn't happen. Um, Actually, our friends called us and said they weren't going up to the cottage. Did we want to go over and play some cards Saturday evening? So we went over there. We had a great time catching up because we haven't seen them a lot this summer with everything that's been going on with our family. Oh, my kitty cat has come because she's hearing me talk. So um, we had a good time hanging out with our friends. And um, you know you're getting old when you're looking at your watch and it's 11 o'clock and you're ready for bed but by the time we got home it was uh midnight so it was quite a late night for us and we had a uh, really good time catching up with our friends play and playing cards and sunday we uh just uh stayed at home relaxed had a barbecue yes and let's see monday i played baseball i had a great time i'm going to put a picture in here i got my uh 20th uh, RBI. So uh, we have a little reward system. Every time you get an RBI, you get a little tiny duck about this big. And when you get 10, you get a big yellow one. And when you get 20, you get the unicorn duck. So I got my unicorn duck and uh, so pleased with that. I was really surprised. I um, haven't uh, played in the last three weeks before that. So I was really surprised that I even hit the ball. So I was really happy about that one. We had a great party and I um, I came home because I was itchy. <laughs> I was scratching my legs uh, Sunday a little bit. I, you know, my head was itchy and I thought, hmm, maybe too much hair product because uh, we uh, went out and, you know, you do your hair up as you do. And so I jumped in the shower Sunday night, uh, didn't need one, but just to rinse off and, you know, get rid of the itch. And then by Tuesday, I was going crazy. I had some kind of hives and ratchets all over my body. Couldn't get a doctor's appointment during the day. So they have a clinic at night. Got an appointment for 6.30, went in. So they put me on some steroids, some special creams and everything. I'm still itchy, but nothing like it was at the beginning of the week. So we don't know what it was. And then I had to go to the dentist. So like every day it has been crazy, crazy busy for me. Uh, so I went to the dentist, found out I need a root canal and um, I will be having that September 9th, I believe. I'm not sure what day that is. Um, I said to them um, with my pension, I'm still on a dental plan, thank goodness. And um, it uh, turns over October 1st. So I want to get this done because I've hardly used any of my uh, dollars for this year. So I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. And they were able to fit me in. So I'll be having a root canal shortly. <laughs> and then they'll put a crown on, I guess, a week or two later. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, yeah, that won't be fun. Uh, let's see. What else? Thursday, my dad went in for his final, uh, oh, hello, sweetheart, here, uh, his final checkup on his hip and um we uh decided his appointment started at eight o'clock so we decided to be there a little bit early get in line they call your number and we got there at 10 to 8 and let's see by 8 30 we were done we had x-rays done the doctor was um right on time like as we were walking into his room after the x-ray he was walking in at the same time i have never been to the hospital and been done in half an hour so we were like shocked so my dad and i she's climbing up on the table here my dad and i um went for coffee and then he dropped me off at home he's driving he's allowed to drive now there's a little bug in here are you on the table? Are you loud up there? I don't think so. I don't think so, little girl. So uh, he dropped me off and then I uh, was going through my emails and I got an email from Lens Mills and it's uh, in Southern Ontario. It's um, fabric store, knickknacks, a little bit of everything, yarn. And they had coupons and they had 75% off 
all yellow tagged items in their store. So anything that had a yellow tag on it, you got 75% off. So I thought, you know what? Can't miss this. You know, I'm looking for some yarn for uh, to make uh, sweaters for Christmas presents this year. And um, I wanted to get, not just plain, I want to get some multicolored ones or whatever. So I, I did go there and I do have the coupons. So if you're in Southern Ontario and you can't find the coupons, email me right away and I will... Uh, send you a photo shot of the uh, the coupons for uh, 75 and it's not just off one item it's off every single item you got so I bought two bags full of yarn and I'll be doing a uh, another acquisitions uh, video probably late next week but I wanted to let you know if you're near a lens mills and you don't have the coupons email me right away my email is in the description box below and I will um, send you, uh, I'll email you the picture of the coupons. You just need to show it from your phone. So uh, fabulous deals. Um, not as many yarns as I was hoping that would be on sale, but I got more than enough yarn. So that was yesterday. I did a little bit of grocery shopping after that. And tonight, it's Friday. It's going to be pizza night. We're going to watch the ball game and... I'm hoping for a very relaxing weekend. It is the long weekend here in uh, Canada. It's Labor Day, and I believe it's in the States, too. So it's a uh, three-day uh, weekend. Saturday, my husband and I are in for a treat. I have never, ever had food prepared by my stepdad. He says he got some, I'm not sure, maybe a pot roast or something like that. And he wanted to do it. He wanted to cook dinner for us because he's always up here and it's supposed to rain Saturday. So we thought, you know what, let's go down, make him happy. So, you know, I said I'd bring the wine and the dessert. So, uh, and Italian bread, my mom's favorite Italian bread. I actually got it and froze it right away. So it'll be really, really fresh for Saturday's dinner. So I'm looking forward to going out to my dad's and um, having uh, dinner at his place. So that's our plans for the long weekend. And next week, I'm hoping, I'm so hoping for a very relaxing week where all I can uh, do is clean my house a little bit. <laughs> and um, I need to organize my uh, yarn room upstairs. So I've started a little bit, but Every time I think I got it right, I purchased more yarn, so I'm in trouble again. No room to put it. So on that note, let's get on with our whips. Are you trying to bite me? You want my attention? Well, I'm going to put you down now. Um, our whips, my whips for this week. I have been working in the morning on my um, diamond painting and I started my Christmas cards and I got a few of them done. I actually I got quite a lot done. I, I believe I did one a morning. So they're very, very pretty. They're uh, blank inside. They haven't been folded yet. So the bells. I love this one with the dark background and the candle. Then there's Santa. Another Santa. Are they the same? Nope, they're different. <laughs> a Christmas tree and a snowman. And I still have uh, half to go. So get these done and they'll be all ready for uh, Christmas time. And um, yeah, and it's blank inside so I can just put whatever I want to on the, uh, the cards. And I'm really looking forward to handing these out this Christmas. So that was my first whip. Put this on the chair over here. And I worked a little bit on my cross stitch. Um, you really can't tell. So I'm hoping maybe I'll spend, if we have a nice day outside where I can see, I need really bright lights. So I usually have my neck light on me when I'm doing it. Um, there's still quite a bit to do. You, It's hard to tell between the colored background and the uh, floss that I'm using. So I'm hoping to get a lot more done and I'll let you know next week. I'm I'm thinking I've probably got 10 hours of uh, cross stitching to do, but I'm not sure. I want to get this done at least by October 1st because it is a Halloween calendar. So I've been working on that and um, I brought my socks to the hospital 
in my little uh, bag that I got from uh, Amazon, um, thinking I'd get quite a bit done, but barely touched it. I opened it up and we got called to do something. I opened it up again and got called to the doctor. So I didn't get as much. I was saving it for uh, Thursday. Didn't get as much done as I would hope. So I was right here last week. So I got about an inch and a half done. Another 10, 12 rows done. So uh, that's how far I've gotten on my socks. I'm just going to move this uh, lay this progress keeper up. If I can get it. There we go. And I'll move it up to here. And we'll see how much we get done. But uh, now that I'm used to uh, working the two different pairs, it's gotten much easier over the last 20 rounds. So those are my socks, and these ones are for me. And I swore that my daughter told me that she didn't want any wool socks because she said it would irritate her. So um, I was mentioning, oh, I might make another pair for Aaron, a couple more for Paige. And she looked at me, she goes, what about me, Mom? I went, I thought you didn't want it. So I guess my next pair of socks will be for my daughter. And I know she, they appreciate everything I make. So it's wonderful when you make something, you put so much time into it and they do really appreciate it. So yes, I will be making my daughter a pair of socks next. I also, um, one night felt like knitting a bit. Didn't feel like working on the socks. So I picked up the, uh, the uh, C to C. Uh, garter stitch blank that I'm making and it is by, I just want to get this right, Snuffle Bean Yarn. And uh, the yarn I'm using is, sorry for the crinkling, is Premier Puzzle in the color Cryptic. So it's lovely blues and greens. And I don't think you've seen this in a month. I don't think I've touched it more than a few times since then. So. I have these needle stoppers, but they keep falling off. I don't even know where the other one went. So let's see. So last time I showed this blanket, and it's really difficult because it's seated. I was here. I am now at the widest part of the blanket. So I did probably three inches of that. And let me see, where is my corner? So I've started squaring it off because it was a triangle. So let me see if I can get this. It's going to be quite large. I just don't want it to fall off the needles. I'm going to hold that needle. So that's how wide it is. It's probably 42 inches approximately wide. And I'm just going to keep, uh, I have one more ball of this. So, and how much of the ball I'm I'm on my second ball and I've got this much more. Probably once I finish this, I will uh, lock it off and turn it into a rectangle. So it's a C to, it's very difficult to show these, but it is a, a C to C. So it will be hanging that way. And the colors are turning out really, really perfect. So um, I did a yarn haul and I figured out the best way is to turn my overhead light off. It is sunny out right now, so it's a little brighter on one side, but uh, it shows the colors the best. It washes out the background because uh, my walls are a fawn color, and sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're brown, but it's fawn. It's a, a very, very light brown or a dark, dark taupe color. So, uh, yeah, showing my colors, it's working out really well with just using, I have two ring lights now sitting on my, clip to my computer, and I think that's working out best. So let me know if you notice the colors better or something else that uh, if anybody knows that I could try. But so far, so good, I think. And then the next item I'm working on is my movie marquee blanket. I was hoping to have this done, but with everything that I was doing, you know, by the time I did my little bit of cleaning, I had to run and go do something else. So my craft time in the afternoon was cut down. I was hoping to have this blanket finished, but I'm not even close. So um, the movie for the movie marquee is Oscar, and I'll put it up top. And I've been working 
on these panels. Ugh, they're falling. These panels right here. I do now have eight panels done. I need one more panel. Then I'm going to uh, single crochet around every panel. I'm not sure. I'll probably do it in the gray. And then I'm going to join it with some red and then do a small little red border. And this uh, wheelchair blanket will be for my mother-in-law. So like three panels will make the length and the width. So it'll be three by three panels. And um, I love the way this is turning out. I love the way it looks. And I know my mother-in-law is just going to love it. And it'll be, it's two-sided, like on that side, you see the whites are prominent black. And then on this side, it's prominent white. So either way, I know she'll like it. I'm pretty sure she'll like the black side better. So I've been working on that. And let's see. I believe that's it for my whips. So uh, let's move on to my finished items. I don't know if you can see my nails. I got, I was uh, closing up all my paint little pockets. They uh, look like this when I was doing my uh, paint by numbers. And I stuck my finger in a dark color, not realizing I got paint all over me. And some of it got stuck to my nails underneath and um, it's not coming off right now. So after my next shower, I'll have to get a scrub brush and really scrub it down. So I was working on my paint by number. I am finished but what I'm going to do is the background is in white and so you can see some of the numbers so there's plenty of white left they gave me three pods of white so I'm going to go over it a couple more times uh, the whites but it is finished and that's how it turned out I think it's a very pretty painting and like if I hold it up it you can see some of the number no you can't see on the Camera, but when I'm looking at it, you can see it and just to get it a little thicker in spots, the white paint. So it's, you know, basically all along the top. So, you know, I'll just take my time doing that. But it really turned out well, a very neutral palette and it's uh, very nice. See this side? Yeah, that's probably a better side to show it on where the sun's not shining in. So I did finish this and I actually just finished it this morning. I wanted to get it done. It's a little later in the day because I wanted to get that done because I don't have that many uh, finished items this week. I um, did not do a ooh, music theory 101 because there was no video put out this week. So I don't have a square for that. But I did finish my daughter's sweater. I showed it a couple of videos ago and um, she actually uh, took it before I could get pictures or anything. So here's a couple of pictures of my daughter at the front door with her sweater and she just loves it. She's already worn it on some videos and uh, said she got compliments. So I'm really pleased. She really, really likes it and I'm so happy that she's wearing it. So that's the sweater, a couple pictures there and... Um, yeah, I'm pleased how it turned out. Like to me, it was way, way, way like, like to my hips almost. She's got, I think, three or four inches in her waist that I don't have. So I always have to, I'm going to have to always remember to do hers extra long. I, like I said, she took it right away. She wanted it right away. So I didn't measure it or anything to put it in my notes. So when she wears it next time, when I see her, I am going to have her take it off and I'm going to measure so I can uh, put it in my notes. So I'll know exactly how long I need to do it from neck, basically from underarm down. She's got a very long tor torso. She's six foot tall. So, uh, um, she's very pleased with it. And she goes, mom, happy to receive more. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I, I am going to make uh, Paige and Amanda sweaters. They're not going to be 100% matching, but they're going to be made out of the same yarn. I couldn't find enough of one color to make two uh, sweaters, but I got colors that complement each other. Let's put it that way. And that'll be in my yarn haul. I'll let you know in my yarn haul. And let's see, what else did I work on? Um... So my paint by number is finished item and the only uh, other finished item was in the thumbnail and that was my under the sea square that I made for August. Completely forgot about it 
and um, I was watching uh, the Yarn Terry. Oh, you're back again, Terry at the Yarn Joy podcast, and she said it, and I went. Oh, I haven't done it. So, you know, yesterday afternoon, late afternoon, I got this and um, I did a few things different. I, um, let's see what, oh, there's some seaweed that I didn't put in because uh, I have no room on mine. I don't know why. And um, the telescope, I, there's a little bump on the top, but I didn't have enough room, I thought, so I just put the one telescope. So it's the yellow submarine, and I have it deep diving in there. And I'm loving these patterns, and um, basically, in a couple days, the uh, next one will be out. So uh, every time I get one, I am messenger friends with my granddaughter, Paige, and her mom set it up so nobody can be invited. It's a page that has to, Paige's mom that has to invite. So, you know, Paige and I messenger a lot. And um, I sent her the yellow submarine. I don't think she saw it because uh, they were out uh, swimming yesterday afternoon with their dad. So uh, that's my finished item for this week. I did have a lot of whips on the go. And I'm not sure what I'm going to start. It's the beginning of the month again. But I'd really like to uh, start the sweaters, and I think I'm going to do that. Start the sweaters and um, for Paige and Amanda and work on them slowly over the next few months. And then work on some of my other projects, too. So, finished item. And that's it for this week on my whip weekend. Like I said, I have uh, one whip on the go, which is the, uh, the blanket I'm making. And I'm going to start a couple more new whips. I haven't done anything on my mom's memory blanket, but I'm trying to get everything else done. Mom's memory blanket is just for me when I feel like doing it. So on that note, I'd like to say have a wonderful whip weekend. Have a, an amazing long weekend, the last long weekend of the summer. I hope you enjoy it with family and friends. And, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, you get your whips done. So until next time, which will be, I'm going to do my uh, book cover inspiration. I'll probably do it Monday morning early. And if I can, I'll get it out. If not, it'll be on Tuesday. So uh, I'll see you then. Bye for now.